Hey guys, Jeff Disher, real estate broker with the Disher Group at Douglas Element. And today I wanna to talk about, do you trust your realtor? This is a, this is a very important question um, because it comes down to trust, it comes down to negotiation, it comes down to how comfortable you're gonna be with them and how well and how much you're gonna let them actually do their job. Um, and I wanna make this video because I was actually at a listing appointment yesterday uh, that was a referral from a client and when I showed up, um, I kind of ran through everything and assumed I had the listing, which I did, but I assumed it, so I didn't really go over the process with the seller. So he had asked a question that triggered it and made me think, wow, I didn't even go over it because I assumed that I have the listing and that I didn't have to explain the process to him. So I kind of stopped myself and I said, you know what, I'm so sorry. I've kind of assumed I had the listing. I'm just going through the natural steps and progression to get it on the market. And he said, no, Jeff, I just had that one question. I trust you. I just want you to run with it, do whatever you will need to do, want to do. I'll stay out of your way. If I do have questions, I'll ask, but just do your thing. Um, and that came because of the referral, obviously, but he genuinely trusted me. I could feel it in his response. I can feel it in the freedom he gave me in his home. Um, and again, he didn't question anything. He didn't question commission, process. He had one question about the showing and how it was gonna be handled, um, which I would've got to. However, it came up and I said, let me explain. So I did, but the main point uh, that I took away is that he trusted me and it obviously came from a trusted referral of his um, and he probably did his research on me. At the end of the day though, he allowed me to do my job. When people allow me to do my job and don't interfere and try to tell me how to do my job because they might have sold one house or their cousin's friend or someone they know is a real estate agent or used to sell homes in a different city or country, when they come at me with that and they question what I'm doing um, when it comes to helping them buy or sell a home, it really takes me back and, and it almost puts up a wall because I feel like they don't trust me so I'm not gonna give them everything I have. And I typically do, but when someone comes at me and says, Jeff, trust me, just take, I trust everything you say as far as price, commission, everything, don't even worry, just tell me what I have to do. It really makes me wanna go 10X. It makes me wanna give them everything. It makes me wanna do my best work, my best job because that client has put their trust in me and now I feel super responsible, even more so that when they question or when I'm just working with a typical client. So what I recommend to you as a buyer or a seller in your real estate transaction is to work with somebody that you trust, like, and feels knowledgeable, right? But you, you have to trust them. I think it's more important than anything and that trust comes with their credibility, their empathy, their willingness to listen to you and ask the right questions. So make sure that you find a realtor um, or a broker that you trust. The best way to do it is to interview a few agents. I did a video, video a couple weeks back that uh, was called Throw My Name in the Hat. Uh, and you're more than welcome to always throw my name in the hat if you want to interview agents. However, interview a few, go with the one that you trust, that makes your gut feel good and that you're not gonna micromanage through the process. Hope you learned something. Trust your agent. Give me a call and be sure to follow me on all social media, including Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and my podcast, There's a Difference. Until then, see you guys next time.